Hi guys, this is Toya from Planning and Teaching. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at doing a plan with me in my trendsetter for the month of January. Um, so really quickly, if you did not watch my last video, please take a minute and go look at that. And it's called, What Happens When My Spread Goes Wrong. So make sure you go check that out because and let me do a little quick chat with you guys. When I started planning um, in this planner, and you guys know I was using my Live Life Lovely or Life is Lovely planner. Yeah, I was using my Life is Lovely floral planner as my home planner and my trendsetter pages as my social media planner. And I felt like that was going to work for me. And then when I started planning in it, it was just it's so much almost redundancy to the point where it makes no sense to do that. And I say that because I'm, I'm basically going to be doing some of the same things every single week um, and then I thought about just creating some stickers with checklists on them and then I'm like no I don't really want to do that so then I started thinking how can I make it work for me and then I started to realize that I have a monthly layout that will work really well and I decided to switch it so yes I franken planned but I switched you have to find plan and peace and find what works for you. I, if something doesn't work, change it, fix it. We spend a lot of money um, on planners and you wanna be able to use them versus not use them at all. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, okay? So what I did, and let me just tell you, in my Franken plan, you will you remember seeing my um, home planner. This page was my first page after 2018. Um, yearly the yearly scope of 2018 then you saw this well I moved it to the back because it's my social media and if you recall I had this hustle um, divider here so I wanted to make sure that I kept that behind there this is the envelope for my budget planner my budget planner came next behind this today divider and then came my trendsetter so um, I'm Putting the trendsetter back here in the in the front where it belongs behind all its pages and I'll be using this as my home planner so I'm gonna go ahead and pop out the dashboard as well as the monthly view and the first set of checklist and the inside pages so we're gonna set up all three of those let's start today with our dashboard for the month. And I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so this has a setup, planning, watching, cooking, eating, drinking, going, loving, dreaming, feeling, listening, okay? Big ideas, celebrating this month, birthdays this month, and holidays. Now, I'm probably gonna cover up celebrating this month um, just because the holidays are already down here and there's nothing that I really celebrate on this month. Um, and then in my personal planner, that's where I'm going to be keeping my birthdays, so there's no need for me to use that either. is my quote sticker book um and I need one that's like motivational Make a choice, take a chance, see a change. That's the one we're going with. And I like that I'm sticking with this pink theme here. And what I'm going to do to kind of make this pop a little bit is to pull out that mini sticker book. And if you guys did not know, go see this flip through. But the mini sticker book has these gorgeous like little confetti pieces in silver and this colorful one. So I'm going to grab a couple of the each. I'm grabbing a confetti one and I'm gonna grab a silver one from the same spot so it has the exact same shape 
And I'm going to put the silver one on this side over here. And then the colorful one on this side over here. How cute is that? Loving it. All right. So in January, all right, what am I planning in January? Um, I am planning in new 2018 planners. Um, what am I watching in January? Um, TGIT, because it starts back January 18th. What am I cooking? Two new recipes a week. Uh, two new recipes every other week. What am I eating? Healthy five days a week. What am I drinking? At least 60 ounces of water a day. Where am I going? Dress shopping for my bestie. What am I loving? The Lord. He is moving things along. What am I dreaming? Growth in my social media. How am I feeling? Blessed. And I'm listening to one motivational book this month. Um, so I'm going to pull out my date sticker book. And I'm going to use I'm just going to use this clear black sticker that says the 13th. And I'm going to put it under working it. It's the 13th and then the 15th are important days this month. And I'm going to put on here dress hunting. And I'm off work on the 15th, so I'm going to put that there. All right. So I still indicate what I have going on that makes me super busy so that I will know. Okay. So this is the dashboard. All right. Now let's look at my months. month is going to represent when I have um, household wise like some big things going on but since I use those clear stickers these these foiled stickers out of the trendsetter book 
I'm going to use them in my monthly spread. I'm going to just grab this one. And then I'm going to grab that same one out of the silver foiled side. Okay, and then I'm going to lay that there and there. Then I'm going to grab a quilt. And I'm going to get this quilt out of my Today is the Day. They have some really cute, this one has some really cute ones. I'm going to grab this black one that says you got this. And I'm going to lay it right here. Love it. And then I'm going to look in here and grab one more. I'm going to grab this lavender one super long that says make today count all right so this is going to represent my deep cleaning the things that I'm going to do to deep clean Um, so each week I'm going to deep clean one particular thing, okay? So I'm going to use my tiny sticker book, which I absolutely love. And I'm going to grab the housework stickers in the pink. And I'm going to deep clean on Fridays. So I'm going to put one here. here here and here okay so each week I'll be deep cleaning one area those are my deep cleaning steps and then the other day that I want to indicate for the month is going to be what I am um, going to be decluttering. And I don't think there's a declutter sticker, at least I haven't seen one. Let's see if there's one that I can use. I'm gonna use these little push pins. I think they're super, super cute. Let me show you guys what they look like up close. How gorgeous is that, right? So I'm gonna use the pink one just to kind of stay with my theme. And I'm going to probably declutter on Saturdays, but I'm only gonna declutter once a month. I don't wanna like just bombard myself with decluttering. So I'm going to declutter main closet. Okay. All right. Now, if I figure out something else that I want to use my, um, if I figure out something else that I want to use my monthly spread for, I will definitely do that in February and continue to update. Okay. So now let's go ahead and look at um to set up our monthly tracker here okay so i'm going to work from left to right and i'm starting with the top three okay so i want to declutter i want to deep clean and i want to find a weekly cleaning routine okay so my monthly habit tracker is just going to be 
um, weekly cleaning. Um, I can't really do deep cleaning, so I'm going to do weekly cleaning. I'm going to do um, meal prep. And I'm going to do cooking. Because that also has to deal with home, okay? So monthly goes. I'm going to just grab an icon sticker. Let's look in the original watercolor sticker book. It has some hearts, but I see. Oh, okay, yeah. I use the asterisk and I'm going to use I want to stick with kind of this color scheme so I'm going to use this hot pink and for monthly goals I find that if I set too many I don't accomplish any so I'm going to set three three monthly goals I messed that sticker up, so. using my date stickers and I'm going to just use the clear ones. Actually, let me use the smaller ones. Oh, I'm going to use these. This is perfect. So, I'm going to put one I'm going to zoom you in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So I put the number one on top of that asterisk and the number two on top of this one. And then the number three is going on top of this one. Okay. Um, note to self, I'm just going to use a quote. Count your blessings is going to be the quote I'm going to be using. I think it is so cute. And I'm going to place that on under the note to self section. I'm going to place count your blessings right there in the center. Okay. And then I'm going to keep with that thing that I've been using these gorgeous, um, colorful and um foiled stickers and if you guys notice they are the exact same shape the two that I'm pulling so I'm gonna put the counter blessings at the top and the silver at the bottom I like that how cute is that okay so my monthly goal is to clean something every day Okay. Um, my second goal is to tackle clothes because we have lots of clothes. And my third is to declutter closet number one. Okay. So on my checklist, I want to find a workable schedule. So find a cleaning schedule weekly cleaning routine okay I also want to um, remove clothing not worn and I'll donate those um, I want to pack up 
Jax's six month close. Items. I want to um, remove cabinet clutter and reorganize my cabinets. And I spelled that wrong. So what do you do when you spell something wrong? You grab your washi. And I'm going to grab just this dark blue washi here. And I'm going to cover that up where it says cabinet. Okay. Make sure it's down good or it won't come or you won't be able to cut it. Okay. I like this one right here that says you don't have to do it all. So I'm going to put that there. You don't have to do it all. This sticker says start today. Love that. So keep with that same thing. We're pulling out that trendsetter. And I'm going to run out of these. Because I love using them already. I can just see it. I'm going to use two of the smaller ones. And I'm just going to put one here. And one there. Cute, cute. All right. So now I'm going to set up my daily checklist, and that's going to wrap up this video. Use the Literally Always Planning Recollections Mini Planner Set. So I'm going to use these little unicorns. All right, you guys. So that's going to wrap up this trend center setup and plan with me. In my trendsetter monthly spread if you guys have some ideas for how to um, utilize this monthly spread a little bit better for what my plans are for it please let me know I will be happy to listen but I'll keep God first in everything you do give this video a thumbs up click that red subscribe button it is absolutely free and click that bell so you'll be notified when new videos are posted and thanks so much for watching, you guys. And as always, happy planning and teaching. Bye.